Hey guys, Ryan the One here and welcome to the final monthly roundup for 2014. It's been a pretty crazy year and back in January when I said I wanted to do these monthly roundups, I didn't really think I would do them. I thought I would do a few or I'd miss one or blah blah blah, but here we are, I've done 12 and this year you have followed along and seen my goals progression and all those kind of fun things. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these kind of videos. I am going to be continuing them in 2013. 13? I'm going back in time. 2015. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the last monthly roundup for 2014. Favourites. Christmas happened. Christmas was cool. I got some cool gifts and I Skyped my family in the UK on Boxing Day our time, which is Christmas night their time. So that was really cool, really lovely. And yeah, um, oh, and as well, <laughs> uh, the main thing that's been dominating the last few days of my life, um, not that I'm dying, that sounds really scary, but over the last few days, um, I've been drawing loads and loads of doodles for all of you guys, because in my last video, um, if you commented before Christmas, I was going to draw you a little doodle, and I was going to tweet it to you, and usually I get like 50 to 60 comments, so I was like, oh, that's fine, I'll draw everyone a thingy. Um, this one I got like over a hundred or hundred and fifty, so um, it kind of uh, freaked me out a bit. But I've been working my way through them, and I've done a bloody million. Um, oh, here we go, <laughs> the prop. So this is obviously the one that you saw in the video. But since then, I've done like millions and millions and millions of all these random drawings that people have requested or asked for, or I've just drawn, 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 inspired by them. But yeah, like, I've drawn that much of my book, and <laughs> I've got that much left, so... Eee. Goals progression. So at the beginning of this year, I drew this, which is my goals canvas, and basically, I doodled up all of my goals, and then I coloured them in as I went through the year and completed them, and... Just getting emotional. Um, <laughs> and I thought it'd be cool, since it is the final monthly roundup, I would just go through all of my goals and just cover the things that I went through and experienced this year. So basically, yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> so first of all, I think my first goal, I don't know, I can't really remember, but I wanted to get 2,000 subscribers because at the beginning of the year I had 1,500 subscribers and now I have 11,000 something. So I definitely succeeded this goal. So yeah, I gained that goal pretty quickly, which was cool, and then succeeded it. So. Thank you. <laughs> and then, new laptop, um, or MacBook. I wanted a new MacBook and I got that in uh, the middle of the year, like March-ish. Was that the middle? Who knows. Um, so yeah, I've got a new MacBook, which is great, because my old one just really didn't want to do its job anymore. So yeah, I've got that. Um, I wanted to meet Jack's Gap. Um, I did not meet them, but I saw them very, very closely in the flesh, and I saw them at panels, and Finn walked by me at VidCon, so... That counts. Um, Tyler Oakley, I want to meet Tyler Oakley. I saw his, um, his Q&A at VidCon, which was really cool. He was on a bunch of panels, and yeah, I just saw him very close up, so that counts. And then I wanted to meet, uh, meet Grace Helbig, which I did. I met her, I hugged her, we became besties. Uh, probably not, but um, yeah, I got to meet her and have a little chat, and that was amazing. And then I saw her Q&A with Mamrie and Hannah, so that was kind of the best moment of my life. Um, <laughs> and then Friday, I wanted to post, what was this, I think it was consecutively for two months, um, doing a weekly video, and I did that pretty quickly, which was cool, so, and I've continued that mainly throughout the year, I've skipped a few weeks every now and then, um, and then I wanted to get noticed, because I just really need validation, <laughs> and I got noticed quite a few times at VidCon, quite a few, I got noticed like four, four or five, five, Five. I'm gonna go with five. Um, so a bunch of different people um, ran into me, and I took photos of like three or four people. And then one person I saw on the escalator, and she was like drifting away from me. And I was like, okay, bye. Um, and then I saw someone who was in uh, blah, 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 a line for someone at VidCon. So they were dedicated to them. But yeah, so I got noticed quite a few times, which was really cool. And then this one get a job at a cool place and I did this and I did this so well because I got a job at a company called Vidception and my um, job was community manager? Community manager? Cre creative king of community management? Something to do with that, I forgot my job title. Um, but I was doing that and I had that job for two weeks and it was the dream job and basically I was just 
there to um, basically like mentor YouTubers, help them grow their audiences, and create communities and like develop the creator community and like tell people like who to um, who to collab with and like just bolster the community. Basically, what I've tried to be doing anyway, but that now I was getting paid to do it. So it was basically the dream job, and I got to travel and all that kind of cool stuff. But unfortunately, after two weeks, my boss died. So um, the company had to close, and I lost my job. And that sucked for quite a while. So yeah, that happened early in the year. So that was really lame. Um, but I covered it in, and it still counts because I got that cool job, I had that cool job, but unfortunate circumstances meant that I no longer had that cool job. But um, throughout the year, I've had like two or three other really cool opportunities that got so close to becoming legitimate jobs and fun things, but sponsors and people and all that kind of stuff pulled out. So mm, uh, the job search continues and it is draining me. But yeah, I'm searching for a social media job or community job or talent management job or just something within that social media industry realm, which I'm also passionate about. So if you have any leads, please just tweet them to me, I'll send you my CV, because I really want to have a job in 2015, <laughs> because being unemployed is quite boring. Um, is that all the goals? Um, <laughs> oh, um, the only goal that I just completely did not complete, com okay, yes, sentences, um, this one, I want to move out of home, ooh, scratched it, I want to move out of home, and I never did that. Um, when I got my job at Vidception, I was going to move to Melbourne and live happily ever after with all my YouTube friends, but never mind. Um, so yeah, I didn't move out, so yeah. But I did pretty well, not going to lie, because they, they were very hopeful kind of things, and I didn't know if it was going to happen, but it did, and I very, I over-succeeded this goal, I over-succeeded this goal, that goal, still so close to me, but oh well. Um, but yeah, I think I did pretty well. Look, I've coloured in most of it, so yes. Things I'm excited for. This month, Miranda Sings announced her New Zealand tour, which was very, very exciting because she announced her Australian tour and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go. And then tickets sold out so, so quickly. So I was just like, please come to New Zealand. I really hope you do. And she did. And then tickets sold out so quickly, but I managed to get tickets to the Wellington show and they are VIP. So I'm going to meet Miranda Sings slash Colleen and hopefully Rachel because her sister Rachel, um, she follows me on Twitter so we can like become besties and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that because I've, I've watched her comedy show on YouTube and I watch all those early vlogs and her, her videos and everything like that. So it'd be really cool to see her in person and see her performance in person. So I am very, very excited for that and that is in March? March 2015? Who knows? It's gonna happen next year. Um, so yeah, that's very exciting. And what else? Um, oh, I'm speaking at an event, so that's cool. I don't know how much I can tell you about that at the moment. But yeah, I'm speaking at an event next year, so I'll probably make a video about that, or if not, I'll tweet about it, so... Ooh, secret project. So that's exciting. And then, what else am I doing? Well, um, the thing I'm next excited for is to make another one of these bad boys. Um, people really liked this idea of drawing your goals and then colouring them in. Like, I drew one for my friend Jono, and a few of my other friends are going to try and do these this year. So that's really exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to do my 2015 goals canvas. Whoa, quiet down, mister. Um, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm very excited to do my 2015 goals canvas, I already have my canvas ready, I have some of my goals ready, so that is going to be my next video, so look forward to that. But, whew, that is it! That is 2014 done! Done and dusted! Um, thank you for, to everyone who has watched me this year and subscribed. I gained 10,000 subscribers this year, that's insane. Um, I started the year with 1,500, and when this video goes up, I'll probably have like 11,500-ish. So, yeah, um, it's kind of crazy. I gained 10,000 in a year, which is super fun. Um, and yeah, I'm just very thankful for all the opportunities I've been given, and for all you guys who tweet me, who like my things on Instagram, who comment on my videos. My, the comments are so important to me, because so many people watch videos and they don't comment, but I started YouTube to make friends, so when people comment, I will have a conversation with you. I'm not one of those people who's like, hey, tell me your favorite color down below, and I'll think about it. Like, I actually read your comments, and I reply to you, and I'll have conversations with you, and 
yeah, I just really enjoy engaging with people, engaging with my audience. So that's what was really cool about um, drawing all the Christmas doodles was I could finally like draw what I knew about you, so like you know whatever you fangled over, what you liked, or just things like that. So yeah, um, I have a very good relationship with my audience, I believe, um, and I hope that continues to grow and strengthen in 2015. And hopefully my audience size grows as well, and that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, basically, thank you for supporting me this year. It's been an amazing year for my YouTube. I went to VidCon, I made so many friends in Australia. I went to Australia, got flown there, which is pretty cool. Um, I got a job soon with YouTube, and then lost it. Mm. Um, and yeah, I've just had some really, really cool opportunities, and I'm excited for more YouTube things um, next year. I'm going to VidCon next year as well, so might see you there. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry, I very, very rarely do long videos. So if you are watching, <laughs> I'm going to be one of those lame YouTubers. If you're watching at this point, use the hashtag Ride Day in your comment. So just leave your comment like usual and then put hashtag Ride Day and then I'll know you actually watched to the end because I don't think many will because this is going to be a long video. But it's the end of 2014, so it's going to be long. But yes. That is it for this week. I hope to see you next Friday, but for now, goodbye.